boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new food review. Today we're here at, as you can see, Buns. So we're in Nottingham. Um, so Buns are essentially specialists when it comes to burgers, shakes, fries, kind of that kind of cuisine of food. First impressions, very funky, isn't it? Very, very funky. Very, very funky, but got the kind of bright pinks, kind of graffiti on the wall. First of all, no one told me about this place, so I solely found it on myself on the internet. So I'm quite surprised, usually the Instagram followers kind of give me that kind of recommendation and suggestions to go to. So I'm quite proud of myself for this one. I've ordered my food, essentially what I've ordered is a Philly cheesesteak. So I was kind of recommended by the staff member to go for the Philly cheesesteak. I'm also feeling a little bit adventurous. So I've decided to go for their, it's called the Buns Triple Stacker. Yeah triple we're not going single we're not going double we're going triple today and also we've decided to go for six juicy wings and they've been very kind enough to give me kind of each two wings different flavors so i can kind of push out a really good review for you guys and kind of establish what different flavors they are my kind of overall impressions of nottingham is it's not on the level of the likes of manchester and birmingham however however it's an up coming city when it comes to food especially the halal food scene very similar to a few days ago when i was in leicester the feedback i was getting from a lot of people were it is upcoming we are opening establishments and those establishments that have been there for three four years they're opening their second branch and they're venturing out an upcoming city and hopefully a fantastic munch and i'll catch you guys when the food comes Straight away whilst they're kicking the food, I want to talk about parking very quickly, as you know. That is the criteria we check on Halal Munchies reviews. Um, I have come on Sunday and I have managed to park on a side road. The side road which leads on to Buns, which is on the main road, is free on Sunday. However, it's permit only and it's 8, 8 a.m. to 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. So um, I think, I just need to confirm, parking might be an issue. But I think there might be free parking on the main road. One second, let me go check. Uh, yeah, we're not too sure about parking. Now the food has come and let me just say, this is what you call a spread of food. Unbelievably appeasing. Bloody beautiful, isn't it? So you've got your, um, let's start off with the main showstopper. This is their triple stack kind of burger. Look at that cheese just dripping down saying, oh, I'm gonna have to eat you. We've got your Philly cheesesteak, so beautiful, beautiful strips of um, steak. You've got, let me see in there, I can see some peppers, I can see some gherkins, I can see some uh, caramelized onions. You've got your fries here. I believe I've had these fries quite a few times now. Really, really good quality chips. And then I've been very kind enough to get a um, Biscoff milkshake. This looks fantastic. I have assumptions that this one will be a thick, thick milkshake, so that'll be interesting. And as mentioned, we've got the six wings. So we we'll start off with these two. I believe these are more like a buffalo, maybe. Maybe a buffalo. And then we'll move on just to over here. You have got your kind of, uh, you've got another sauce over here, actually. Then you've got a few more over here. So I believe those, yes. these might be a barbecue sauce too, so that'd be very interesting. Uh, I cannot wait to talk in. So guys, look at the spread of food right now. Beautiful, we've got a triple stacked burger. We've got so many wings. We've got, oh, this might be a showstopper. Philly cheesesteak, I cannot wait to talk into that. We've got some uh, rustic fries, I believe. And then we've got this bad boy right here. A Lotus Biscoff shake. This is my kind of food. And I will, as always, we are recording for YouTube. So I think we'll start off with a bit of the starters. We've got the wings. Um, I believe I ordered three different flavors. I definitely know I ordered like a hot sauce, a barbecue kind of sauce too. Uh, the last one I kind of forgot. We're gonna try out, here we go. Again, on inspection, deep fried, then kind of covered with that sauce. So you get uh, a few textures. You get, you, I'm assuming you get a crunchiness, and then you get that strong flavor. You get the dominant flavor and the texture. So best of both worlds. Here we go, let's try it out. Oh yeah, that's a great bat on there. I'm just looking at the receipt here. 
three pounds ninety five for six wings. A very very good price point. Great value for money, I'd say. Really really good. Oh. On the spectrum of sweetness, I say this is more on the strong side. This is about four out of five with the sweetness, how it pops out. Chicken is cooked well, really, really well. We're off to a fantastic start. Most definitely, try out the wings. I love the branding. Look, get messy. Yeah, I love they got they've gone the extra mile, you know, kind of to develop that kind of brand. I think this might be the house buffalo with sriracha mayo, so we'll give it a taste test, see what kind of dynamics the different flavors will bring in. So here we go. Mm -hmm. Sriracha, 100%. Woo! Okay, it's attacking my tongue straight away. That butter, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Oh, the wings are really good. Now we've got two out of two so far with the flavors. We've had the spicy one. We're now we've had the barbecue sweet one. And now we are left with what's that? A house buffalo sauce. Can they get three out of three? We'll see. Here we go. This is. Let's get a close up on that again. They're not shy when it comes to portion sizes too. Decent sized wing that is. Another thing to note. They're actually wings, they're not niblets, like some places. Oh yeah. House buffalo sauce, I'm assuming salty. Actually, this is a great point to establish that this flavor sits between the first two I've had. And one was very sweet, and one was very spicy. And this one's a bit, a bit salty, so I've, established, I've had all three flavors. Uh, my personal favorite would be the barbecue sauce. When you have something savory, it's always nice to get something on the other side of the flavor profile, which is sweet. Just balance of flavors again. I always love to reference balance of flavors. But you know what? They've won me over. Forget the burgers and the Philly cheesesteak and whatever else I got. They've won me over with the wings. We're off to a fantastic start. So I think next we're going to attack... Um, the Philly cheesesteak is looking at me. It's, it looks very, very, very tempting. Very tempting. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do this, so I'm gonna attack it like how you attack a burger. Look at that bad boy. Absolutely brilliant. I'm seeing lettuce, onion, I'm seeing chicken strips, cheese, gherkins, and then uh, quite a soft bun at the top, so you know I'm gonna be a bit cheeky. Instead of attacking it from the sides, I'm gonna go straight from the middle. Here we go. So we're getting thin strips of beef strips. You get this kind of smoothness that covers the whole palate of your mouth with the cheese. You get a bit of bite from the lettuce, the onion, the gherkin gives you that pungent kick there. I've had Philly cheesesteaks where unfortunately the steak strips are unbelievably salty. So I think this is seasoned fairly well. However, I believe it is missing that wow factor. This would be a recommended one from me, but not a highly recommended. That makes sense. It looks good, doesn't it? It looks good. And there's a decent amount of meat in there too. So I think the sauce in this one, I want to describe it as a kind of a spicy mayo maybe. Yeah, you get this, you get that smoothness and creaminess from the mayo, but then you get a kind of spice kick too. A decent, decent steak, uh, Philly cheesesteak. What I haven't tried is uh, the fries, right? So I've always said that conventional kind of takeaways and all these establishments, they use that kind of, you know, not super thin, not super thick, but the standard fries, and I'm completely against it. I don't like it. So I've had these before, so I know the expectations. Yeah. Crispy, fluffy in the inside, seasoned well too, so nothing to criticize about uh, the fries. Time to get very excited because we're gonna attack attack the triple stacker. I've taken the pin out, we're no faffing about. There we are. Oh my lord, just look at that. So breakdown of it, so you've got your standard bun on the top, you've got a few gherkins, it looks like a thick sauce that goes with it, you've got, uh, what you got? You got one patty cheese, two patty cheese, three patty cheese, and then just at the bottom there, I don't know, ah, oh, I'm gonna deconstruct it. Uh, no, can you see that? 
lettuce. You got lettuce and you've got a bit of crunch from the onion. So we are gonna take a bite. A big bite for a big lad. Here we go. Okay, Nottingham. Is that why you're playing like? Okay. I gotta give you a close up on this. Look at that. So what, kick, what, what hits you straight away is actually a pungent kick. You get that kind of sour pungent kick from the gherkin. The sauce, to be honest, has it doesn't have too much of an effect. It's just there to give a bit of moisture. And the beef, honestly, I thought it would be a lot more juicier, but it isn't. But you know what the flavors were? The flavors were. Cheesiness, again, brings into the feel the whole kind of dynamic of that smoothness, that silkiness that plays around in the roof of your mouth. I would have liked the pies to be a lot more juicier, to be honest. However, what I do like about this is that you get that kind of subtle sauce in there. Yeah, so sometimes I've, I've always mentioned when the sauces are in the burger, it's very overwhelming. I think sauces should be in a burger just to complement it. They shouldn't do too much, just to, just to complement it. Just to kind of, you know, push them, push the bite to in the finishing line, if that makes sense. That's what the burger sauce should do, which is good. That's an advantageous point here for me. If I was at a restaurant with the boys, I'd be giving that, it'd be all right, it'd be good. Because anything lo below that, mm -mm, we don't want that, we don't want that. Let's conclude with this Lotus Biscoff shake. Here we go. Very thick. Oh, oh, that's good. Oh, they've got this one bang on. Absolutely bang on. Mm. I tell you what, I've said in the last video and I'll say it again Lotus Biscoff, it is the flavor of the lockdown period. Literally, put Lotus Biscoff on anything and it would taste fantastic. They've done it right with the balance of flavors here. It's thick, it's creamy, it's frothy. It's milky. It's a shame that Nottingham today is absolutely pouring down. However, that's not gonna upset my mood. This one is getting a highly recommend. Highly, highly recommend. So guys, we just finished off the food here at Bun's Burger. Honestly, a very, very interesting video because it's not a smash patty. Believe it or not, it's not a smash patty. Uh, I've had a quick scan of their menu, unless I've missed it. They don't do a smash patty, which is very interesting. For me, the wow factor most definitely, most definitely, was those wings, especially those barbecue wings. I feel like the butter was a very good butter. Good butter. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't kind of a, like a falling off kind of the bone or the, the wing kind of butter. It was a solid good butter. It had a great crunch to it and also what really complimented it was sauce the sauce was really good too on those barbecue so those are getting the wow factor Philly cheesesteak sits in the middle there because I felt it isn't the best Philly cheesesteak I've had but it's a decent decent Philly cheesesteak and again the burger probably sits in the same there too fries love those types of fries I think I'm starting to see those fries because I'm assuming they're bought from a outsource. Starting off with cleanliness, they've got a fantastic five star cleanliness. Can you believe it or not? Really, really good. It is a small establishment, but it's quite funky. They do have the chairs. There's no some. There's no. Uh, there's no booths or kind of a uh, seats. They're more like high chairs. If that makes sense. So for food, I'm gonna score them. I believe a respectable 3.8 out of five. Service. The guys behind the counter were really really friendly really friendly actually I usually do this thing where I uh, I look up and down the menu and pretend like I know what I'm doing but they stepped in straight away made a few recommendations for me take into consideration the shop is completely dead so uh, yeah that was quite nice <laughs> I could do my filming in peace look behind me you've got um, you've got the graffiti you've got these kind of black pink kind of uh, standout colors. As always, be sure to follow the Instagram page at Halal Munchies Reviews and be sure to like, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video.